Yeah, this Golden Boy County, but you already know what time it is. You rocking with Big Chicken, jumping off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Send them down south, go. Uh, uh, with them birds, no pelicans. Uh, Just let the doctor with medicine. Uh, Rats head it up, then we mailing it. Uh, I put your back. back on off the porch for the second time, man. Yeah, I know what time it is, Big Chicken. Yes, sir. Welcome back, bro. Yes, sir. What it do? Yeah, I'm feeling good. How about yourself today, too, right, man? I know it. Feeling like a million bucks, brother. Looking like it, too, man. I yes, like to sir. see the elevation, the growth, man. I know you had some chains last time. I don't feel like you had the, that big boy chain, though, no, man. Sir. I had a little rope. <laughs> a little rope chain. Nice little charm. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. So welcome back, bro. And, uh, you know, welcome back to Atlanta as well. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I know what it is. What have you been, uh, you know, working on since you've been back in, uh, in the city, though? Um, I was on, I pulled up on Pete's Lonely last night. We were just on vibing. We got a hard track for the drop on my mixtape on the 16th. Okay. Um, did a few videos with a few TikTok influencers. You know, just the rollout on my mixtape. Yeah. Finna drop on the 16th, getting everything together. Yeah, I, I know fans were probably hitting you up today. Like, what happened to the project? We were yeah. supposed to drop today on the second, yeah. but. They was hot, they was hot, they was hot. <laughs> but they, they, they fooled me for real though, you feel me? So they on whatever I'm on. Yeah. They gonna roll with me. I got real fans, authentic fans. I ain't really, I ain't really ride nobody way to take nobody's fan base. So my fans was with me from day one. You feel me? So yeah, yeah. So it's good with me. Nah, absolutely, man. Yeah, so, you got C Stunner back there, man. That's my boy. Yeah. So my little brother for sure. And I understand y'all cooking up some shit too. Are we, are we even allowed to talk about this shit yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are gonna do a little mixtape for sure. It's gonna be hard. Okay. Yeah, we are gonna go crazy. Yeah. But I tell you, he just dropped too. Man, on the charts right there. now. Yeah, his shit out of here. This man got DJ drama on this yeah. thing. Yeah, on the charts right now, man. Full play. Yeah. Real for the boy. How long y'all been rocking with each other then? Couple years, but Stunna, Stunna Tay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Stunna was, Stunna, Stunna knew my music for a minute. Hmm. He came and told me a song and I ain't, I forgot about it. He like, boy, that's, I'm like, what? <laughs> you, you know about that? For real. Yeah, man. I know fans are gonna be excited to hear y'all working on a whole project together, though, oh, man. man. So that shit gonna be out of here, man. Yeah, they're gonna be stupid. Gone through the roof. Y'all gonna be talking that shit on that, too, man. Back to back. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Uh, last time he was here, it was way back in 2020, end of 2020, man. What was you just saying? It didn't even seem like that long ago, man. Yeah. But time be flying, man. That's smooth, boy. For yeah, real. Man. Smooth. Hey, You've been working like a damn fool too, bro. Oh, crazy, run that chicken up, man. Got to. <laughs> I was trying to keep track, but I think I counted 16 projects since you were last on the board. Okay, okay, yeah, six, since, yeah. 16. 20, what is it, 21 or 22 total? Thank you. So you in the 22. 20s overall. 22, yeah. Yeah. For sure. And I think the last three years, you dropped five projects each year. Yeah, back to back. Shoot. Yeah, is that man. your plan? Like every year when you come in, it was like, I need to drive five projects? Or is that just how this shit works out? It's just how I go. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be grinding. You don't even play. Like Master P was back in the day. If you see it, that's how I run my, that's how I run it, bro. Yeah. For sure, my artists is everything. My business is on point. Nah, absolutely, man. Yeah. And, like how often do you hit the studio then? You in that bitch like every other day, couple times a week? I'm just raw because when I go in there, I know I'm in there for a purpose. I don't go in there chilling. I don't go in there just vibing. I don't tell my dogs to pull up. We're going to hang. I go in there for a purpose. I know I got to get a tape done. So ain't nobody with me. I'm dolo. Probably have one nigga with me, roll up some reed. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to drop 12 songs True. that day. Next day, I come back. I take a little light. Might drop six songs. Come back the next day, might drop 12 more songs. Come back the next day, might drop 10 songs. Then out of all them songs, I put them together. Pick out which ones I like the most. Okay. And put it together. The ones I don't like, it'll just be on my playlist. So you don't even drop every song that you record then? I got about a thousand songs I didn't even like. A thousand? That I don't even like. And I know they hard. <laughs> for real. Stun them probably the same way. They got songs. Yeah. For sure. Man, do you always have like that type of work ethic and everything? Yeah, since a jet, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Since a kid, bro. Now, that shit'll take you a long way too, man. You can just outwork the whole competition and everything too, yeah. man. I don't even see him. Yeah. Um, I don't be trying to be the, the littest rapper. I be trying to be the biggest boss. I be trying to have the most money. I be trying to have the most businesses and, you know, still keep the rap rolling and function, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, yeah. I be trying to do 30 things at once. Rap just one of my hustles. Uh, how, sure. how do you find a balance between all that shit then too, man? Um, 
I don't know, that's just a gift though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I can't even break that down and explain that. That's just a gift. <laughs> that just gotta be in you. It can't be on you can't go buy it or pick it up or somebody teach it to you. It gotta be in you. Yep. For sure. And you be staying booked up too, man. I see you be having shows like damn near every weekend, right? Been booked for three years straight, bro. True. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed though, you know what I'm saying? But three years straight though. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep a show rock that sold out for sure. Yes, Everybody yeah. know that. Every week you're gonna see a flyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, uh, one of my partners in, uh, down in St. Pete, she texted me like one night, like middle of the night, she was like, man, I just walked by like this club and someone performing. She's like, you gotta know who this is. So she sent me a video. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> right there on South uh, St. Pete Beach. I'm yes, like, uh, God damn, my boy working. Rolling. Yeah. There. Carolinas, I'm tearing the Carolinas up right now. They, they fooled me heavy in the Carolinas, bro. That's it. Carolinas, that's love, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about every, every city in Carolina, north to south. <laughs> I'm going to show once a week up there for sure. Damn. Yeah, for real. East City. I promise you, I've been to every city from north to south down there. Yeah, what they call that shit the Chitlin Circuit, right? That shit lit. If you get in the Carolinas, you know you turn, turn up to the max. Yeah. Not just one city, you got to get all of them. And when Tim the Boss hits you up, you know you done did it. Oh, yeah. He going to keep you booked. When you reach Tim the Boss, <laughs> just know you done did it. <laughs> for real. Real shit. Yeah, in yeah. Carolina. Uh, so what's the current label situation uh, right, right now today? I am the label. I ain't signed to nobody, fam. Okay. I ain't. I was. I was signed to Interscope. I signed another label. I was. You know. I. I, I learned the label game. So I was like, this ain't really for me, because hmm. I already had a little bit of bread before I came in the game. So I was already a boss. In reality, like I know how to handle my stuff and manage my money. So I was like, um, I'm gonna link up with him. It was my manager. Okay. And we came up with our own label, Fly Chicken Family Records. We just started signing artists. We already had a bag, bro. So it was like, there wasn't no point of me signing to these people and, and they don't really give you all your creative control. They want your priors. I'm like, I'm keeping all my stuff. You feel me? I, ain't, I know how to drop 30 CDs in, in two years and, <laughs> and keep all my priors. I can help the artists get where they need to go and branch them off to a bigger label if that's where they want to go. But how I do it, I sign a distribution deal. Okay. You know, I am the label. I just had them distribute my music, fam. They yep. pay you to distribute your music. I'm doing it the smart way. I ain't finna, you know what I'm saying? Be in the record deal. Yeah. Now, especially once you go through it once, I feel like when you go one through time, it once, that's it. you should be able to learn what you need to I learn. What I need to learn. All I did is take their system and they finesse and put it in my way. Is <laughs> is is wrong? Yeah. You, me? you gotta learn this. You don't want to be a boss. You want to be a worker. Real it's up to you. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with being a worker though, cause signing to a label be good for some people though. Be good mm -hmm. for some people. You feel me? But you know, that just ain't me. I ain't can't tell me what to do. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, I feel like right now, 2024, the blueprint is out there how to do this shit how independently. To how to run up a bag, a real bag too, man. Cause, cause label gonna stop your cheese. You only gonna let's say when them shows run out, mm. and slow down. They don't wanna see you every week. <laughs> Not. Nah, that was your only bag. When you signed to the label, they got their hands in everything. Oh, yeah. Their hands in your pocket. No, you can't do it. You, you making cheese off your little shows, your little features, your little walkthroughs. But when that slow down, that's when you see the rappers going online. My label won't let me drop. My label won't. That's when you see that shit coming up. You know what I'm saying? I don't go through that. We, we got the cheese. So. Yeah. And you correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard a rumor that you bought yourself out of one of your contracts. Goddamn right. <laughs> can't keep me. I got paid. You finna play with me. I save cheese. I don't. I ain't no swag rapper, brother. You feel me? So all the deals I done signed, all the paper I done, I keep it. I spend on what it need to be spent on businesses, my artists, me. Man, you know what I'm saying? Travel, real shit. You yeah. feel me? Like I never really was no. I don't. I ain't. I ain't no junkie. I ain't got no habit. I only smoke a little gas. You feel me? I don't do no drugs. So it's like I'm always gonna have the most money in reality. I be chilling. Yeah. I know what to do with that money. Hmm. Yeah. Was there a breaking point to where it was like, man, I need to get out of this situation ASAP, even if it cost me money? Yeah, it was like, cause I was on some shit. I like to drop every month. That's that's just me. That's my flavor. That's how I keep my Spotify numbers up. That's how I keep my that's how I keep my people happy. I'm a street rapper, you know. In the streets, this, the streets come with seasons. Every week, something new. Hmm. So I'm like, I gotta keep this shut up. The par. I gotta keep the streets fed every month. I gotta keep the language in the streets. What the, what the new shit is on everything. I gotta keep it up to par. They had one time to play with me, like, I ain't got no budget. Oh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. They no told you they didn't We ain't got budget. no budget for this tape. So I said, all right, hold on. 
Hey, bro, what you want to do? He like, shit, you know what we finna do? Go grab a hundred racks and get up out of there. Tell them we'll holler at them later. Keep whatever they, keep whatever they, keep whatever they had. We'll make 30 more projects. Fuck that shit, get me up out of this. Yeah, you probably Same ready. day, same day, I dropped the Joker. Went 48 on the charts. I ain't even go that on, I ain't even hit the charts like that with them. I did it dolo. That's when I knew I made the right decision. I'm like, oh, I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. crazy, I dropped this on my own. So. And you probably made that bag back the same year. You know what I'm saying? A couple three, months type three, shit. Three months. Three months. Three months for sure. Yeah. Definitely, no games. Three months. Nah, I like how you giving some games to the new artists. I think that signing is everything, man. Nah, oh, man, that's what they be wanting to do. They be thinking it's cool. They be thinking it's just like, you know, they just want to, they want that video to get posted on all the platforms, all the blog sites. I'm signing, and they be giving them a little cheese. But as soon as the video go off, the nigga take the money back. But can't nobody give you no damn money, cash, crazy. Nigga got businesses. You got this shit gotta get wired. Now if you wanna believe it, then you believe it's cool, man. Nah. But I I I I I do it, I, I know what's really going on, you feel me? So I don't I don't need to be cool. I don't need just looking at me signing no paper. You'll see about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what that money do. Real shit. Yeah. I done signed so many deals, I ain't said nothing. Huh. Never said shit. Fuck, that ain't they business. Yeah. So. And at the end of the day, all those blog placements, that shit come out of your budget. You, they, you gotta recoup that shit too. Post me signing, yeah, they all, and, and I don't get none of the money. I gotta get the money in two months, maybe. You feel me? Yeah, yeah no, I ain't getting no cash. Who you think finna just come bring you? Here go 200 cash, take off with it. Crazy, bro. I gotta write off, I gotta sign off with this shit. This guy gotta write, I gotta get this at MV, you tripping. I'm not just giving you no cash. That's crazy. Yeah, so talk about building up your own label, man. I'm still doing it right now. You know, I got, I got my home, but I came up out the dirt with. He was one of the first niggas to tell me to rap. I got Count Up Boy Jig. Um, I was managing C Glizzy. He locked up right now. Free Lil C Glizzy. That's my boy. He been with me since the beginning. I got my female artist. I got Lanaya West. She from Orlando. She hard. She gonna go crazy. We finna put, put it in her. She gonna go dumb. You feel me? And um, I was managing 6K Fly. That's my dog. I got him. That's my boy. What we need, I got him. But like that label shit, bro, it's, it's, it's cool. You just gotta be a boss for it. You just gotta understand everybody gonna be different. Yeah. Different feelings involved, different people, different jobs, different people, how they would grew up, everything different, you feel me? So you gotta really, you gotta, you know, and then at the end of the day, you an artist too. Oh, yeah. But I ain't trying to be an artist forever. I'm just trying to, I, I want to be an artist just to get my name out that bitch and then become this boss shit, you feel me? Run that shit. I ain't trying to be no rapper. They ain't, they ain't the rap for me. I'm just good at it, <laughs> for sure. Look like you still got the passion for this shit, though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. It's hard, man. I'm, I'm, I'm my shit raw. You feel me? But that ain't what I'm on. I ain't trying to be no rapper. Rappers workers. <laughs> yeah. In real life, we just don't know that shit. But you better know that shit. <laughs> the bosses is the motherfuckers that you hitting up. Like, can I drop this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For sure. Who paid you? Real shit. Yeah. So how'd you discover uh, Lanaya West out there in Orlando then? Um, I seen her like some years ago on the internet, doing little freestyles and shit, like on Wednesday and shit. And um, I wrote it in and I was like, who you signed to? She told me she was with some people. And um, some years later I came back, I'm like, who you signed to? She like, nobody, and I grabbed her. Hmm. She hard though. Yeah. Yeah, she Mexican. People think she Puerto Rican. Mexican. Oh, for real? Yeah, everything she Puerto Rican, she Mexican, she hard. She be spitting that shit too on some of them songs, man. Yeah, she hard. Yeah. So, luxurious living. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Talk about this one. Like, what should fans be expecting to hear on the 16th with this one? Upscale trap shit. Just super fly trap shit. Like, it puts you in the mind, like, boom, nigga bust down and pee on, 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 on a Gucci rag, on a Gucci, on, on a Gucci, Gucci towel. You feel me? Just fly shit. Nigga, nigga picked up a, Picked up his baby mama in the 745, jumped out of that, jumped in the lamb, pulled off. When the bust play came back to the, tr you know what I'm saying? Just super fly shit, nigga. Just luxurious shit, just, but the chicken way. Cause I started that chicken shit and everybody be rapping about that chicken shit and they like, they don't know where that chicken shit came from. People used to say chicken shit was like pussy. Like, you a chicken shit, you chick. It's like, that's scary. They know who started this chicken shit, you feel me? So it's luxurious living for sure. Big Absolutely, chicken. man. Yeah, they got to stamp that shit, man. Yeah, they know this. Chicken man. They know who they looked up to. Yeah, they know who they, and they jumped off the porch listening to. That chicken shit, man. Yeah, man. For sure. 
Now, how long have you been working on this project too? Because this only could be your second project this year. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you kind of took your time with this shit, man. I was chilling, bro, because I was um, trying to get all my business together. I was just rapping. You don't want to just be rapping, fam. You gotta want to. You gotta know the business. Everybody really just be rapping. So I was like, I'm finna take my time out and learn this shit. So I know where all my money going, where all my streams going. These look, I need to know everything. I don't want to be in nothing. I don't know everything. I need to know everything. So when a bitch ask me a question, I'm shooting straight at you. I don't need to be like, uh, hold on. Look at my manager. Nigga, I know it. He know it. We know it. Bitch, we got the game. You feel me? So I had to learn that shit. I ain't got time to be out here freestyling. But write it down and do it the right way. You feel me? So that's why I'm going to do this tape. But after this tape, guarantee you, Golden going to be dropping every month. That shit over with. I've been letting these niggas eat. Got to get back <laughs> on their neck. It's easy to me. Uh, let's talk about the long way feature, man. Cause this is some shit you've been sitting on, right? Been sitting on it, bro. Just because, like, I was just doing the perfect timing. Me and Long Way, some of these niggas' favorite trappers and favorite rappers. So that together, that that we we down south, but we really down south. We Florida. He down south, but they Atlanta. You feel me? So like, put that shit together, like, send that shit down south. Send it down south. That's just what we named the song. Long Way came on that bitch snapping, bro. Like, that bitch, bro. He a real one. Oh, yeah. I fuck with that boy. He's one of the Real greatest OG. to do this shit, man. One of the best. He really taught me how to rap. He don't even know it. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? Him, Money Man, Moot Boy, niggas like that taught me how to rap for real. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I love that, like, that lyrical shit. Yeah. yeah. So. You and Money Man were rocking heavy, uh, what, a year ago or so, man. That's my dog. He taught me He taught me a lot of shit in his rap shit, you feel me? He, um, how I move is really like how Money Man move, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I just had, he got his label and stuff. So he like, I'm finna teach you this shit. I'm finna let you, I'm finna let you spread your wings. Hmm. He a real one, bro. He, he ain't had to put me on his wing. You feel me? I'm still with him. That's my dog. Okay, yeah. Yeah, black circle chicken, you know what I'm saying? I'm busy, he busy. He, he bossed up. I'm getting bossed up. We rocking. Yeah. You feel me? How so, did that connection happen? Did you reach out to him? Did he kind of reach out to you? Did you guys just bump into each other or what? Uh, Money Man and Pee Longway was always my favorite rappers as a young. That's why I listened to the grinding and shit, you feel me? So, like, I was posting little videos on Instagram. Money Man wrote me, like, you hard. I'm gonna do a song with you. I was like, what the fuck? Let's do it. <laughs> shit. He did it. Like, four of them. Yeah. I never paid him a dollar. He never asked me for a dollar. Video, song, none of that. Never asked me for a dollar. Never. Never asked me for a buck. Shout out to PZ, he never asked me for a dollar, for sure. Yeah, that condo you and Money Man drive, that shit a classic, man. All face, like, just love. Let's rock out, for sure. Yeah, and you got PZ on the new album, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. What's that song called, first off? Oh, um, what did I name it? I think I named it, um, for, what I named it, what that song is? The D, because okay. he from the D, Detroit, yeah. and I'm from the D, D land, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, the D, PZ a real one, bro. He wrote me, he like, I fought with you. Send me a song. I'm like, damn, that nigga real. Like, let's do it. He like, I'm fucking with you. Yeah, what it is. Yeah. Real one. Was that shit some shit you created just for him to jump on? Or was that yeah. some shit you were just sitting on? I created it just for him. Okay. He stabbed on that bit too. Uh-huh. Yeah, you're gonna be able to tell that we both know what we talking about. And we really been out here. And we really came up out here. You're gonna be able to tell that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you got Louis Ray on the project too, right? My boy, we both we both got the um, same distribution deal. Okay. Under the same distribution company. Yeah. Phrase that, yeah. yeah. That's my dog though. He a real one. Fuck with Louis Ray. Yeah, he be talking that shit too. That nigga different. He different. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Any other features on the project? I got Lil Shimmy. That's okay. My dog. Yeah. Yeah. I He's out of here right now. He been blowing the fuck up. Yeah, he been going crazy. Yeah. I got Shimmy, Skiller Baby. Um, Peasy, Pee Wee Longway. I think that's about it on them. Okay, yeah. And Louis Ray. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next video, you got something already shot, ready to go? Yeah, yeah, drop it, it's called, um, what that song called? <laughs> <laughs> back Shots. Back Shots? <laughs> yeah, it's called Back Shots. Is so that some shit hard. for the ladies or what? Yeah, it's for the streets and for the ladies. Like, okay. That'd be hard. That'd be hard. Yeah. For sure. You got any expectations when you drop this shit? The, the tape? Yeah. I know I'm hitting the charts out the gate. Everything I dropped hit the charts. Hmm. I done dropped 22 tapes. My first five tapes ain't hit the charts because I was just dropping them. I ain't, know no, ain't nobody know me. After that, every tape I done dropped hit the charts. Every tape. 
So yeah, yeah, this bit going straight to the charts. Okay. Yeah, first day. Yeah. For sure. Uh, what about producer wise? Who'd you cook up with uh, for this project? Uh, I went back to my dog Yari. I fought with Yari. I started off with Yari. Everybody, anybody in Florida that tight, they in the Golden Boy tight beat when they in the studio. Trust me, for sure. Believe that. Ask me, they'll tell you. Any rapper in Florida that tight, they in that Golden Boy tight beat. Huh. For sure. <laughs> Trust me. Does that shit trip you out when you see people making like Golden Boy type beats on YouTube, or you kind of expect it at this point? I, I don't. I expect. I always knew I was gonna be one of them. You know, there ain't many rappers that bitches wanna be like. It's a couple niggas that bitches wanna be like. Then there's a couple bitches that just fuck with that artist. I knew I was gonna be an artist that motherfuckers wanna be like. Like I wanna be like Golden. I wanna be like, just like when Kodak was like the only nigga in Florida really going crazy. Everybody wanted to be that. Everybody imitated Yak. Everybody came out looking like Yak. It wasn't nobody that didn't look like Yak. That wasn't rapping. I came out the same way. A lot of bitches wanted to be golden. I looked a little different. I sounded a little different. I acted a little different. Talk a little different. You feel me? I already knew I was going to have that because I was like that in school. Yeah. Niggas, my, oh, niggas older than me wanted to be like me. Huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh. uh, is Bando going to be on the, on the tape? Bando? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, sir. That shit hard as fuck, bro. Yeah, Atlanta fucked up like that. For real? Yeah, they fucked with that Bando. You got to play it in any of the clubs up here? Yeah, we was on, yeah, what that club? I don't know what that club was. We was in the club last night doing a little skit. We were playing some music in there last night. They fought with it though. Okay. Yeah. That shit hard. Like, that could be the one for you too. The one. That'd be hard. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Do you got a personal favorite song on the project or does that change daily or? Um, I don't know, bro. I done heard it so many times, so I don't even be, I be on to the next one. I'm on next. On to the next mixtape already. I'm like, I'm already working on something else. This is new to y'all, it's old to me. I'm like, that bitch hard as hell. But I'm done with that motherfucker. But all of them hard though, for sure. Every song I'm on the tape. Okay. For a fact. Yeah. For a fact, bro. And I like how you kind of built up your career just like strictly off the music. Like, off I don't music. see you doing no gimmicky shit. I ain't dissing. You ain't dissing people. I ain't, I ain't really trying to do no like stage fronts. I ain't trying to like. I just rap, bro. I came in the game a rapper. I'm gonna show you I can rap. That's the only thing I'm giving you. I ain't giving you nothing else. However you take it is how you take it. You, know, you ain't never gonna hear me dissing, dissing another rapper or nothing like that. But nigga diss me, fam. That nigga bored. I didn't, one of my people didn't got around this female or some shit like that. Nigga diss me is it's crazy, for sure. Yeah, I feel like you don't give people a reason to hate you. Fuck no. They wanna shake my hand, if anything. Only people that don't like me is my ex bitches. For sure. But uh, niggas that I done cut off, you feel me? A bitch don't just wake up like, I hate Golden. Like, what the fuck wrong with you, bro? You <laughs> need to hate your bitch. You know, I ain't did nothing to you. For sure. Yeah, I be looking at your comments. I don't even see people be hating you on you on online type shit either. You know, it's, it's haters I do, but it's like, I'm going to get way more love than hate because the energy I give off. I ain't rapping about nobody dead, homie. Not saying I don't. Fuck with the niggas that rap about that shit. I, it's interesting. I like it. It's funny. You feel me? But Shit's entertaining. It's, it's right? entertaining. You know what I'm saying? But that's, that's what they do. That just ain't my thing. That ain't stuff thing either. We, we motion rappers. We rap about yeah. getting money and motivating you to put your people in some new shit. Mm -hmm. Raise your jits up, nigga. Get some money. Yeah, I feel like we need more of that shit in the game, too, too yeah. these days, man. I came out like that, and I ain't never changed it. They know that. Yeah, I do it for the... The single mamas, the mamas that got a nigga, the niggas that's broke, niggas that got money, niggas that's working, niggas that's trapped, I do it for everybody. Yeah. For sure. I fuck with that shit you and uh, Fat Pocket just dropped. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. From the same city, same yeah. hood. For sure. Y'all the only two rappers I ever met from D-Land. Like, yeah. I want to say. I hope I'm not fucking that up. I, but. I hope I hope we don't be the last. True. But <laughs> <laughs> definitely the only one for shit, so. Yeah. For so sure. You been rocking with them for a while? like We grew up together, bro. Oh, for real? Oh, shit. We really grew up together. This ain't like. No rap shit, like, he don't know me as a rapper. I don't know him as a rapper. I don't call him Fat Pocket. He don't call me Golden. We don't call each other that shit. We don't, it's different. We really came up together. We really came up together. And he just kind of recently started rapping too, right? He been rapping. He yeah. just wanted to come out now. Yeah, he been rapping. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Y'all got some more shit in the vault? Y'all too? Bro, we, it's like, it's like, we around each other, we don't talk about music. Same thing with me and Jimbo, we around each other, we don't talk about music. Same thing with me and this nigga, we around each other, we don't talk about music, it be real. Niggas that I got songs with, it's probably like, I don't got relationships with them. Like, we just, send a track, all right, send a track. 
I mean, him around each other, we not even thinking about music. It's like, is it straight? Yeah, bro, you ooh, ooh. It's just different, it's just love. Um, his brother, it's my partner. Our managers, they tight. We rap for real, like, we, that's why they here. Yeah. You feel me? Like, no other rapper would pull up here and sit on the porch with me. Not, it's none of notice. Yeah. It's my dog. That's nah, so, real love right there, man. Yeah, fam, well, you know, I don't, I, do, I got that from Rod, though. I don't really fuck with rap niggas. You don't see me popping out at all the events and shit. I don't, I be chilling, bro. I'm solo type nigga, bro. Yeah. Be vibing, bro. How would you uh, describe your time with Rod? Because last time you was on the porch, you were signed to him, or rocking yeah. with each other. I don't know if you were actually signed, but. Yeah, I was with Rod. You say, how, you say describe what, say it again? Like that experience, just, you know, being around him during, the, during that time. My experience with Rod was on straight, bro. Rod taught me how to move in the industry. Don't stay, don't be too, in, don't be too far in. Don't be too far, just be at a coast. So they miss you, but you feel me? Like, you, you can't link with everybody, bro. Cause people be having shit going on. You can't dick ride niggas that make you look crazy to your fans and you don't know it. You can't jump around every rapper and be in there that make you look crazy. You don't know this unless y'all really linking up doing the song, you feel me? You can't just be, it's enough, it's so much water in Florida, fam. I said it before, it's enough for everybody to grab a boat and ride in this bitch, you feel me? So, I'm in my boat, I be chilling, you feel me? But ride shit taught me a lot, bro, how to move in this rap shit, how to get your money, stay out the way. Shit, rest in peace to his uncle. He, his uncle taught my manager a lot of shit, how to maneuver, how to put down on niggas, how to, you gotta stand on business and shit, you feel me? But yeah, it's just, I was already a boss young nigga coming into the situation with Rod. So, bro knew he couldn't like, he had to let me go. That's why I'm where I'm at now. Cause either I was gonna be an entourage member, or I was gonna be a boss. Yeah. It was up to me. Shit, bitch, I ain't wanna leave from with Rod Wade, the biggest nigga in the world. But I had, I got family, I got jeans, I gotta go get this chicken. You feel me? It's, we never left off on no bad, it's love. Yeah. I listen to that nigga every day. <laughs> I was around when he made some of the music, you feel me? But, bitch, I had to, be, I had to go get some money, bro. I, can't, I gotta go get some real money, bro. Yeah. I see you doing this, so I, I, you done motivated me to go do this. I gotta go. Love. For sure. Yeah. I remember that song you and Tweed dropped, man. That That's shit my nigga. Tweed got out. I fuck with Tweed. Yep. I fuck with their whole camp, bro. There ain't no, ain't never no pressure, no shit. People be thinking that because they don't see you around, niggas. Bitch, we went. You ain't around the people you went to school with, motherfucker. <laughs> bitches grow you don't up mean and grow. Smoke or nothing, bitches right? grow up and grow. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. For sure. Yeah, yeah. The one thing I love about Florida is that unity, man, amongst all the artists. We tight. Man. We tight, cause, cause you get wild out in Florida if you a hating ass nigga. <laughs> Trust me, it's some hating ass rap niggas in Florida, and we get on their ass. We let them know. And amongst the other rappers, this fuck nigga here is weird. And we ain't doing no songs with him, and we ain't come around him. It's niggas, it's politics in Florida. Florida real. Bitches don't know that. It's niggas that come together in this shit, man. You feel me? It can't be a group of Florida rappers just going at it. That's, it's gonna be some type of nigga that's in, in the middle of this shit to calm it down, you feel me? Unless it's been bloodshed and you back on out of that shit, that ain't your problem. But look, rap shit? Hell no, nah, bro. We ain't going for that shit. Everybody fuck with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's like everyone uplifting each other. Everyone oh, yeah. too, man. And if you're not, you're hating. Hmm. Why not? Fuck with every, everybody. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, I look at you. you. You fuck with everyone like all over Florida too, Everybody. Man. I can fuck with every rapper in Jacksonville. I can fuck with every rapper in Broward. I can fuck with every rapper in Miami. I can fuck, and I don't got nothing to do with their they situations. They not going to invite me or involve me in it. I'm not in it for it, fam. I fuck with y'all niggas genuinely, and I'm a genuine nigga, fam. Yeah. Stand on business now. I'm a genuine nigga, though. Real shit. Yeah. You got your own strain now, right? Yes, sir. Let me show you that real quick. Let me pop that out real quick. That golden, that golden charm, you know what I'm saying? That, <laughs> that's, what it, that's, that's what it is right now. It's in the streets right now. It's in the streets. Is this some shit you had, like, manifested? Like, man, I feel like everyone wants their own strain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. The strain came from, like, I got that from Long Way, to be real. Okay. Long Way and Bobby Fisk, yeah, they motivated me to get my own strength, to keep a G, for sure. I gotta call that out. They motivated me to do that. I see how they was moving, I'm like, oh, no. Nah. <laughs> gotta, gotta give me a piece of this. Crazy, yeah. for sure. And it's legal, it's everything the right way. I ain't gotta worry about looking up. Let's do it. If it's legal, let's do it. I'm ready. You feel me? For sure. 
Now, when it comes to like creating this shit, I'm sure you got a lot of say so because this is some shit you got to be smoking. Yeah. So it's got to be some shit that's hitting, right? Got to. Did you go through like different strains before you found the one like this is him? Yeah, you pick it out. You got to pick it out. Nope. Fuck nope. <laughs> Hell no. Uh, yes, sir. That's how you do it. For sure, so. man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now today? Um, be your own person, be your own boss. You feel me? Don't think getting a business a billion dollars. You can have you five grand, open you up a business. You got 3500 open you up a business. We just be lost out this bitch. Just save your cheese, get you some money. Don't trust the bitch. Unless the bitch worth trusting. For sure. Yes, sir. Take care of your family. That's how you get your blessings. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Fuck a nigga. Simple as that. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Fuck a nigga. That's how you got to live. Yeah. What's some goals you got set for yourself? I got to have these eight businesses running by, these, by, by December. By, not December. By January. By January 1st, I got to have at least seven businesses. I ain't going to say eight. Seven businesses running. Running. At least 100 coming in. Got to have that going. Have me one more artist. Um, hit the charts two more, three more times by the end of the year. Bring me up a couple, couple more M's. For sure. Just balling, bossing. Being me. I dig it, man. For sure. Uh, when you're looking to add an artist, like, what do you look for out of an artist if you want to add them to the team? Um, gotta be hard, man. Gotta be hard. Gotta be hard. See, I'm on some real bullshit. I ain't really looking for no no male artists. Female artists is the shit right now. Oh, they lit. That's who carrying the game. So that's like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna go spend my money on a nigga when, you know, niggas be up and down. This nigga might go to jail. He might jump into some beef shit. This nigga might. This nigga, this nigga tripping. This female, huh, sit down. Got that, need this, scrape. They're gonna be a little bit more chill, you feel me? And they running the game, they taking it over. I'm investing in the females. I ain't investing into no leg lad niggas, fuck them. <laughs> investing to the females. Get your credit, put you out there, let's go. Fly shit, ball shit up, let's do this. Let's get this money, baby. Yeah. For sure. Ain't nothing wrong with that shit too, man. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got time to be giving niggas no goddamn money. Huh, mm-hmm. bro? Uh, uh, for your baby, hell no, nah. get your ass down the street, fuck no. Nah. You a male artist on my team, you balling already. You balling already, you just needed a platform. Jig was balling already, he like, I'm like Gucci, he like OJ Juke, man. Jig already had money, for sure. Yeah. I got you, bro. Uh, you got any shout outs you'd like to give uh, before you wrap it up here, man? Yes, sir, man, Luxurious Living. Drop 816, say the date, 816. My dog Stunner just dropped. Let him know what you just dropped, brother. Still stunning. We ain't never gonna stop stunning, you feel me? Shout out to everybody that was a part of my project. Shit show. Down south, uh, fuck with them birds, no pelicans. Uh, just let the doctor with medicine. Uh, wrap that shit up, then we mailing it. Uh, I-